sí, 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 sí. Tahoe's riding heavy. Holy crap, heavy. How do you tell the Tahoe's heavy? <laughs> Haven't you looked at the back tires? They're up in the wheel wells. Oh. Yeah, squirrel's with me today. I can't remember if I said that earlier or not, but... Well, we had to sit there an hour and a half waiting for him to finish up. Sorry if I'm spacey, but boy, this tooth pain is just about enough to, it's, it's stopping me. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really, really don't. But anyway, since you guys kind of seen what's back there, motor blocks I picked up it was supposed to be 30 over it's 30 over and I got looking at it that it, it wasn't finished toned he says he just checked it and it exactly he says yep it's just rough cut it needs to be honed so the guy didn't lie to me when he told me it was bored and ready to be fitted for pistons So anyway, Crystal, Squirrel, and I are going to head to the farm and see if we can get this stuff unloaded because I don't want it sitting out uh, anymore. Yeah, I see the head's already got some frosty on the heads <laughs> from getting cold last night. So anyway. We get to the farm and we get it unloaded. Oh, I'll show you what you got. So, show you what we got for inventory now. There you guys go. 430 over. I see they even found the factory markings on the block. It needs to be finished on. I'm going to paint it here in a little bit if it gets warm enough. Got a little surface rust on it, but it'll wire brush up and clean. Got a little spots down in here, but the cylinders, nothing. So, there's 400 number one. There's 400 number two. There's 350 four bolt main with 487X heads. And here is four bolt main 400 from another YouTuber. And then here is the MG stuff. So, yes, MG's back. And I don't know why, but it looks like he cleaned up the camshaft. I don't know. We got a new cam and he knew that, but anyway. Wait, we got a new tube here, this thing. Oh, uh, yeah. I would not use that one. Yep, that's... Anyway, parts, bags. Pray to God everything made it back. Squirrel in the snow. Squirrel's digging in the snow. Yep. And I tell you guys, if I could get the nerve up, I would take this tooth out. Hi. Bay, what's in? Oops. Your socks are on the floor. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to. I'm going to get set up and start getting some paint on some of the tin work for the MG. Oh, I'll we'll get some primer. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm going to primer up some stuff and then we'll be back. Oh, there's Squirrel. Woo! I made more space. Yep, she's been cleaning up Dad's shop. Uh, it's orange. That's so pretty. And that's... It don't look right on the camera, but in real life, that's the orange I've been looking for. I don't like these other oranges. There's 454. There's 
And I just put the orange on that one to protect it. And I do have a 30 over piston and I slid it in there. It just barely slides in there. So that motor needs to just be finished tone. Uh, oh yeah, we started primer and uh, MG parts. There's the MG block. And I got a few more parts in there, and then I got parts up there. Oh, God. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, boy. I might have bit off more than one I could shoot. I seen that. What? Yeah. I just waved. I'm just like, uh... Ay, ay, ay. So, we're out here... 2006. What'd you do? Didn't touch it. What was it? I don't know. Oh. I think it was a pop bottle. Oh. Good. Anyway, we've painted and primered what we can for now. You're really taking one of mine? Finally, you can open it. You're going to put, oh yeah, she said something about putting in your locker, I guess. Eh, I might not want to. Yeah, you may not. Oh, that's just, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, guys. <laughs> um, hopefully tomorrow I can function a lot better. And uh, the 454, then I want to get back on that. I don't know, maybe. Here that. I got to clean up the MG block. I was like, you know, I'm taking this home and painting it, and he sprayed it all down with an oily thing, which it's okay, it kept it from rusting, but I don't think it would have rusted on the trip home. Um, and then I just noticed something with the MG2. Want to get it? No, not right now. We'll bring that up later. Oh, okay. I definitely might have to get the stuff, the CC motors. Because <laughs> we kept the old pistons in the MG. Yeah, I gotta go through the records, uh, and yeah. Anyway, but it's too late. It's already fitted to that, so I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But anyhow, anyway, I guess I'm gonna call it quits for the day. Go home and see if I can sleep tonight. Excuse me. So, and. If you guys are keeping track, this ain't all the motors yet. I've got three more 350s to come back home. Two old, uh, one's a 78, one's a 79, and one's a 97. So yeah, we're gonna have some stuff. So, anyhow. See you guys later. Have a good one. Oh yeah, forgot something. There are some things that uh, have come in that I haven't brought up yet. So if you're watching and you're wondering why I haven't said anything, hang with me. I'm trying to get things back in order. So there's there's some stuff coming up. So all right. See you guys later. Oh, what a way to start off 2016. I got two teeth. They're going to have to come out. How? I don't know. Just got the mail. Well, you know, guy, you got you know the trouble I had with my prescription coverage last year, right? Well, guess what? Now that I got prescription coverage, the company I got notified Medicare that I had a gap in my insurance and now they want to penalize me because I didn't have prescription coverage from January 1st last year to December 31st and they are mandated to add the penalty to my cost of my prescription now. What the fuck? Oh. Sorry about for snapping there, but God bless it, people. You know, I used, I used other means of getting my prescription coverage last year. And here now they're trying to penalize me because I didn't. 
I didn't use their service, so why the hell should I have to pay for it? And everybody says Obamacare is so fucking great. <sighs> anyway, enough of that. Uh, Tall Hill here. We got about 15, 16 miles a gallon yesterday. And, uh, it done real good. Right now we're finally off to get the, the MG motor. It's supposed to be ready. So, yeah. Kind of out of guys because I've taken pain pills and or gel and oh boy these <laughs> yeah it's real bright anyway get down to the machine shop and see what's going on.